Hi, welcome to Channel 5 News. I'm Sarah Danfield. And I'm Kara Tower. Let's get started. Exciting news for the Hooians. November 23rd is the 50th anniversary of the classic sci-fi show, Doctor Who. The hour-long special premieres simultaneously worldwide at 3 p.m. on BBC America. The episode comes back where it left off last May. In addition, the special will be shown in select theaters on Monday, November 25th in 3D. Speaking of sci-fi, Thor 2 returns Supernovas, Chris Hemsworth, and Tom Hiddleston as Thor and Loki, respectively. Fans can expect more sibling rivalry of intergalactic proportions, especially as Thor and Loki seem to team up. Will Loki live up to his promises? Check it out. Why? Need your help? But I wish I could trust you. If you did, you'd be the fool I always took you for. Speaking of mythology, have you been keeping updated on your classics lately? Recently, a team excavated the ruins of an ancient Roman mansion dating back to the 3rd or 4th century AD. The house is supposedly cursed by a woman named Priela, according to the inscriptions on a tablet. She was cursing Aeni, a man with legal disputes. Cool. On the other hand, Roman-related news, that is. Archaeologists have been examining thousand-year-old aqueducts, ancient pipes. These ones transported over 2,000 liters of water per second with little epidemic outbreak. The plan from here on out is to create the first ever map of these aqueducts. This is living history here, people. And Cincinnati made some this past week. This past week, John Cranley won the election against Roxanne Claus. He won 58% of the votes. The Cincinnati Consul was also finalized. The following candidates were appointed to the Consul. P.J. Sittenfeld, Charlie Winburn, David Main, Yvette Simpson, Chris Seelbach, Christopher Smitherman, Wendell Young, Kevin Flynn, and Amy Murray. Here's Cranley's reaction. I want to say thank you to the voters and the people of this city. We believe we're going to bring this city together. And we're going to work on uniting the city to move it forward in a way that works for all people. We're going to work. Moreover, the Cincinnati November election turned out to be a further success with two major levies passing, the library and the zoo. These organizations will continue to run on the support of property taxes, as each household will pay based on land value. Note that four out of five people voted to continue this support. Well, that's all for now. Until tomorrow, I'm Kara Tower. And I'm Sarah Zambichilli. Thanks for watching.